You guys remember Nomad, right? One of the hardest quest bosses in the game? Well, here's a sped up clip of me doing double Nomad in the Dominion Tower with generic range gear on the beta, using just three overload doses and just less than three super prayer flasks. Needless to say, things have gotten a lot easier in the beta. As I just said, I was just using generic range gear, which was full carols with a crystal bow. Um, just on a side note, the crystal bow is now awesome, by the way. It no longer becomes less powerful as it degrades, which I wish they would have made it like that to begin with, but oh uh, well. Thank you, Jagex, for doing that. And I was using snakeskin boots, which are kind of shitty. But I didn't want to use any pernix because that wouldn't represent what I would actually have in the live game. And I was also just using uh, Royal Dehyde Van Braces. Despite using that kind of gear, I did still have Soul Split and uh, Overloads, which admittedly are partly why the fight was so easy. But if you guys want me to try this fight with less high level stuff like Overload and Soul Split, then let me know. Also, during this fight, I had my quick press set to turmoil instead of the range equivalent, which I unfortunately didn't realise until I stopped recording. So technically I didn't use my 95 prayer when I could have, which just goes to show you don't need to be able to do ridiculous amounts of damage for this fight. I'm kind of disappointed as to how easy this was. You might have noticed that I have a crossbow and shield switch in my inventory. This was for the disintegrate phase where Nomad usually hits you for insane damage. I was able to just completely eliminate that damage by using Barricade, which is a defense ultimate ability, which makes you invincible for 10 seconds. And I don't think you should be able to do that, just because it kind of ruins the whole purpose of the fight, basically. The reason I'm uploading this is because I really think Jagex needs to buff up the health of basically every monster in the game. A lot of stuff is far too quick to kill and has such a small amount of health. And they should also look at ways to redesign some fights entirely, whether it's creating brand new mechanics to the fight, or just basically changing the way some abilities work in some fights. So, for example, in the Nomad fight, maybe if you were to use your barricade ability to make you invincible, Nomad should be able to hit you through that regardless. So, uh, that would just make the fight more challenging and would bring back the challenge to the fight, because you'd have to find other ways to get around that damage. I also think that there should be less chance for our abilities to miss, because the thing I like about the abilities in the combat beta is that it gives you more control over a fight, because you're relying less on just lucky hits. But when you give our abilities the chance to miss, it's kind of counterproductive, I feel. I'm not saying all abilities should hit all the time, but maybe just make them miss less often than they currently do. Because when I use an ability and it doesn't do anything, it just kind of sucks the fun out of combat, and it makes me feel a bit powerless to control it. So maybe they could just give us a way to increase our hit chance, like maybe more powerful weapons have less chance to miss or something like that. It could already be like that, but I really don't know. It certainly doesn't feel that way. And um, They could also put like a hit chance stat on some gear, like they've, do they've put a uh, crit chance on some of the jewellery. I know they want to try and avoid putting offensive stats on gear, like uh, body, legs and all that kind of thing. So I'm not too sure what they could do to try and avoid that route. Who knows? So as you can see, the fight has just ended and I owned Nomad quite significantly. I'm just going to show you an example of monsters having far too little health. This is the Dagonoth Sentinels in the Dominion Tower. In the current live game, if you just focus all your attacks on one of the Dagonoths, then the other will just heal them straight back up to full health. But as you can see in the beta, I'm able to just completely out-damage that healing and just kill the Dagonoths anyway, which is completely ridiculous. And it, that, that's another example of the fight just being completely redundant. I know I've moaned about the beta quite a lot in this video, but I do still think that the evolution of combat still shows a lot of promise. And remember, beta is beta. It is not the full release. There are still things that need to be fixed, which Jagex are completely aware of, I think. Or at least I hope so. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.